Oh, I just came back from El Salvador. I'm heading back again to El Salvador again. Back to 2020 over there. Oh, yeah. On the US government. One in Lovelas. Who's that? Say cheese. 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 He couldn't see very well. He reached up and grabbed my four stars just to make sure I was who I said I was. He held my hand with a firm grip. He was making signals, and we realized he wanted to tell me something. We put a pad of paper in his hand, and he wrote, Semper Fi. But if you've been a Marine, or if, like myself, you're an admirer of the Marines, you know those words are a battle cry, a greeting and a legend in the Marine Corps. Their Marine shorthand for the motto of the Corps. Semper Fidelis. Always faithful. General Kelly has a reputation for being a very sophisticated general and a very tough Marine. But he cried when he saw those words. And who can blame him? That Marine and all those others like him, living and dead, have been faithful to their ideals, They've given willingly of themselves so that a nearly defenseless people in a region of great strategic importance to the free world will have a chance someday to live lives free of murder and mayhem and terrorism. I think that young Marine and all of his comrades have given every one of us something to live up to. They were not afraid to stand up for their country or, no matter how difficult and slow the journey might be, to give to others that last best hope of a better future. We cannot and will not dishonor them now and the sacrifices they've made by failing to remain as faithful to the cause of freedom and the pursuit of peace as they did. I will not ask you to pray for the dead because they're safe in God's loving arms and beyond need of our prayers. I would like to ask you all, wherever you may be in this blessed land, to pray for these wounded young men and to pray for the bereaved families of those who gave their lives for our freedom. <coughs> God bless you and God bless America. Amen. Oh, that was cool. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. Just kidding, we're not in the airplane. <laughs> We thought we were leaving out of here and going somewhere else in California. No, we're just kidding, y'all. We're, we're not. We're not living in LA. We're still here in the Ronald Reagan Library. We have a few more guests around. <laughs> really. With the president. Oh, amen. <laughs> oh, the amen. That was actually cool what they say amen. <laughs> That's actually good by saying God blessing it. Also, look at that's pretty much cool. Yeah, this is part three. Sorry, I didn't record almost everything. Can I have a Really interesting skill trip. It's part of an attraction. I'll make another video talking about what's been going on in the Air Force Discovery Center. Yeah, we're just heading to the elevator, heading outside of that weird, well, not weird, I should say, I should say a cool jet. Sorry, I couldn't record the whole uh, experience on, on where we are.
Manlies, we're back. Uh, this is gonna be the final part of this video. Which is you I'm gonna ask that you don't film during this tour, but you can take pictures. Pictures are off. Guys, I gotta end this video. I just got someone just they just told me they just told me that I had to end the video, but I'm gonna hand in a little bit the camera. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry that I'm gonna end this video right now. I'll try to give footage on the on the on the on the model of the plane. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna record on this one, but that will be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. That'll be it for this video. See you next time. Peace.